So I heard 5AM Solutions just released Snip Tips. Can you tell me what it does? Certainly. Snip Tips is a Firefox browser extension that integrates your personal genomics information into your web browsing experience. So if you visit a web page, like a blog post or a journal article, that mentions a particular snip, you can see what your genotype is at that snip without leaving the current page to look it up. That would probably be very interesting to me if I knew what a snip was, and if I had any personal genomics information. Sorry, let me explain. Several companies are now offering services that let you look into your own DNA and see what interesting variations you may have. That's what I mean by personal genomics. Why would I want to look into my own DNA? Your DNA is a code made up of 6 billion letters. Most of the letters in your code are the same as everyone else's. A small percentage of them are different, and these have effects on your physical traits and your health. Okay, so I'm beginning to see why this is interesting. But what is a SNP? When one letter is different than your DNA code, we call it a single nucleotide polymorphism, or a SNP for short. SNPs can change the way your genes behave. The version of a SNP that you have is called your genotype. And that could affect my physical traits and health. I think I get it now. Exactly. So how do I get my SNPs? You can sign up with one of the personal genomics companies. One such company is called 23andMe. They will send you a tube to spit into, and then they send your spit to a lab to extract your DNA and read it. It's very high-tech. That sounds gross, yet oddly fascinating. So once I have my SNPs, what can I do with them? Your personal genomics service will generally provide you with tailored reports about the latest research pertaining to your SNPs. Some people, however, get interested in following breaking genetics news, and read blogs and scientific journal articles that mention new findings about the association between SNPs and disease, for instance. So then I could look up my SNPs as I read those articles and see whether I have the versions that are linked to disease. That's cool. It is. However, it can be a pain having to go look up each SNP when you are reading an article. Some articles mention groups of SNPs at once. We thought it would be nice to have a way to see your genotype at a SNP without having to leave the article you're reading. That's how SNP Tips was born. Great. So how do I get SNP Tips? Easy, just visit snptips.com with your Firefox browser and click the install button. But before you do that, you will need to become a 23andMe customer first so you will have SNPs to use with it. The current version of SNP Tips only supports 23andMe data, but we plan to support other personal genomics services in the future. This is all very interesting. I will check it out.